Hey, this is Ruby, and I'm here with Maisie Peters. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for having me. So you're on tour with Conan Gray right now. Mm -hmm. This is what, like night three? Yes. Okay, three. how's it going so far? It's been so fun. Um, I've actually known Conan for a long time because we both used to have YouTube channels, and we subscribed to each other, and we would like comment on each other's videos. Um, so it's been so full circle and crazy and cool, like being on this huge tour with him. And his show is unbelievable. He is amazing. And his fans are so sweet and so nice. And his band is so sweet and nice. And like, it's just been such a good vibe backstage. Uh, we all played Banana Grams the other day, very rock and roll. And then, yeah, his fans are just so sweet. And so we've also been having the best time on the stage as well. Nanograms is super fun, by the way. It's actually underratedly fun, yeah. It gets super competitive, though, in my family. I don't know if you mm. guys get pretty competitive with each other. I guess we only did a few games. We're sort of okay. yet to like lock into that, but <laughs> I could for sure get involved. And do you guys ever take a moment to like think about how far you've come and like really just like live in it for a second? I mean, a little bit. I guess it's hard because it's just so go, go, go. Mm. Um, but we were yesterday, uh, like my band and I were all talking about our favorite parts of touring, which was really wholesome because we were all like saying all the good things. Um, and that was, yeah, very cute. And what are your favorite parts? Well, I said you weren't allowed to say the music or the fans because that was obvious and boring. Um, so if you exclude the music of the fans, which is obviously the best part of touring, uh, then what were some of our favorites? Like uh, getting to try new food and mm. find new restaurants everywhere, like making new friends in new cities and then getting to like come back to those cities and be like, hey, like we're back, Toronto, where are we? You know, um, those are such fun things. Also like not having to do really like any washing up or like loading of a dishwasher. Yeah. Huge. I haven't touched a vacuum and I won't. And I won't for another month and a half. You know, and I've never wanted to go on tour, but now I'm like, I don't know what I'll do on that tour. So but true. It means I don't have to load the dishwasher. No, you don't. You actually don't. It's a wonderful place. <laughs> and you opened for Taylor Swift on mm. her Eras tour, which is huge. So just paint the picture for us. Describe to me, like, what did it feel like walking out on that stage in front of the Eras audience? Oh, my God. It was so fun. There was so much adrenaline. I was, like, so excited, so nervous, all those things. Um, but it was honestly, it was like my Super Bowl. Like it was actually the perfect crowd and they were so sweet. Like I was wondering if they would know who I was, but loads of them, you know, like knew the words and it was so sweet. And like her stage is so big. It's huge. It was like a marathon. Um, but it was just so fun. It was the perfect day and the show was so good. And then we watched her show afterwards, like myself and all my friends. And that was so fun. Just like being a true fangirl. So yeah, it was the best day. Fantastic. Uh, and you were also opened for Ed Sheeran and you're signed to his record label. Mm -hmm. um, now, I interviewed Ed Sheeran a few years ago, and I also have some other you know, colleagues in the industry who have met him and they've all said the same thing. So this is going to sound a little weird, okay. but I have to see if you can confirm. Does he always smell that good? I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I feel like yes, but and maybe I've like hung around with him so much that like I am like now immune to the smell because I can't think about like I can't remember it. But maybe yeah. it's because it's so it's just like so ever present. Um, but yeah, he does smell wonderful. Obviously, see, I knew it. Can, that's can, one of those things that like people are like, oh, like what was memorable at, about Ed Sheeran, and it's like that sounds so weird, but. I believe it. He just, I believe it. He smells really good. Um, and you played yourself in How to Date Billy Walsh. Do you want to do any more <laughs> acting? Um, I mean, never say never. I do think that, uh, you know, music might be where my, my heart lay, lies because acting is really long. Like you have to wait around all it's day. True. And yeah, I don't know. It was, that was my sort of main takeaway, but it was so fun being on the set. And we were in this little town in Yorkshire, which was very cool, like in this little B&B &B with all the cast. And I made actually good friends with like a lot of the cast and we're all still friends and we still hang out. So that was really wholesome. Like I'd love to do that again. Well, and you've worked on some soundtracks too. So what would mm. be like your dream show for you to make some music for? Okay, I have a great answer for this. If they made Lady Bird the film into a TV show. Okay. Yes. I feel like we're, this is what we're pitching right now. Manifesting. Make Lady Bird into a show. Where we've got the music. It's ready. Yep. Okay, I love that. And what are you reading right now? What did I just read? I read a book on the plane. It was cool. Let's see. It was something like, I might get this a little bit wrong. It was still something like um, Vladimir and Greta. Okay. Um, and I loved it. And it was sort of a, sort of like two young adults. They live in New Zealand. And it's just about them and their life and their family's life. And it was great. And I think it's called that, but I might be wrong. But it's definitely that type of. And are you, are you ever bringing back the book club? Oh, my God. Um, Listen, who knows as of right now? Okay. I But I am doing this thing on this tour where, like, we're going to different local bookstores and leaving little letters for people. 
uh, in my favorite book that I find in that bookstore. So that's actually where we're going next. Okay, I was going to ask you. So you haven't hidden anything here yet, but you're going Not to. yet. I'm on my way after this. Okay, and can you give us like a rough idea of what you're writing in the letters? Like, what are you saying? I'm just, you know, it is it is personal for me and whoever picks it up. But I guess I like to sort of um, talk about the city that we're in, like talk about my favorite memories from there, tell them a secret or two potentially. Um, but yeah, there's only one. And so far, I don't know like who's gotten them, but they're normally gotten pretty quickly. So you have to be speedy. Okay, well, hopefully uh, some other fans are going to be able to find something hopefully on tour so. with you, get a little secret. Um, and what's next for you? Well, I'm on this tour with Conan for another month and a bit, I think. Uh, and then I'm going to go home and I'm going to try and work on slash finish my next album. So, that's so it's a- already started. Oh, it's already started. It's, I've been working on it all year, but sort of intermittently between all the different tours I've done. So I'm definitely excited to really like jump fully all into that um for a few months and then yeah hopefully it'll be done i don't know i don't know <laughs> I but believe it'll be you. you can do this thank you. <laughs> fantastic well Maisie peters thank you so much for coming in thank you so much for having me